Today I'm going to show you how to make the most delicious, moist, soft, butter-loaded blueberry swirl sourdough brioche bread. Try to say that three times in a row. Hi, I'm Sune, and I'm a food geek. This video is the second and final part of my blueberry and sourdough series. In the first one, I showed how to make a blueberry lemon sourdough bread. You know, the kind with a crispy crust and a chewy crumb. If you didn't watch that yet, uh, follow the card here to go to that video, but stay and watch this video to the end. You'll thank me later. Today, we're going to go to the other end of the bread scale, brioche. You know, brioche means lots of butter, right? Mm. That means a soft bread with a soft crust and a deliciously fluffy crumb. Inside the bread, we swirl a homemade blueberry jam made from garden fresh or maybe grocer fresh blueberries. The jam is thickened with cornstarch so it doesn't run out when the bread is cut. It's super easy, barely an inconvenience. Brioche and sourdough can be a little bit tricky to work with. And while I was developing this recipe, I tried a whole bunch of things that didn't work. The result of that is a recipe that absolutely does work. Here are some of the things I tried. I tried machine mixing the dough, which really seemed to help the gluten development, but in the end it turned into a, be a really tough bread. I also tried using melted and cooled butter, but it doesn't work the same way as when you knead the butter into the bread. It would have been nice if it had worked because it made the mixing a lot easier. I found out the hard way that you need to liberally flour your table uh, when you roll out the dough. Then there's the shaping and the distributing of the jam on the dough. The dough needs to be rolled out to a width that's smaller than the pan you put it in, or else it's not going to fit. Also, the jam needs to be spread out really thinly, or else it's going to leave giant holes in the bread, which is not really very nice either. Also, it's really important to cover the sides of the dough so that the jam doesn't run out into the pan and bubbles up all over the dough. Having made all these errors, I came up with a method that you can use that doesn't suffer from these problems. It's a hand-made sourdough brioche that's light and fluffy with a perfect swirl all the way through the bread. If you're new to this channel, I bake a lot of sourdough bread and I make delicious food from all over the world. I'm on a quest to get the most out of every ingredient and my goal is to teach you how to do that with simple and understandable steps. So join me by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss any future videos. I'm getting peckish. What do you say we get started making this bread? The written recipe, the ingredients, and the amounts are linked in the description. And we start out in the morning, we'll build our Laban. Add 150 grams of sourdough starter, 50 grams of bread flour, 50 grams of water to a see-through container with straight sides. Mix really well. Leave to ferment covered uh, in a warm place uh, until it grows to double the size. While we're waiting for our lavanda to grow, we'll make our blueberry jam. Put 250 grams of blueberries in a small pot Add 125 grams of sugar, three tablespoons of cornstarch, and 50 grams of water. Mix to combine and bring the mixture to a boil. Then let it simmer for about 10 minutes and then turn off the heat and let the mixture sit in the pan for about 15 minutes to cool a bit. Add the mixture to a bowl and cover it with aluminum foil and let it cool in the refrigerator until it's needed. Then once the lavan has grown to double the size, it's time to mix the dough. Add 450 grams of bread flour, 150 grams of the lavan, one, two, three, four eggs, 30 grams of sugar, 15 grams of salt, and 60 grams of milk to a bowl. Put two fingers in the middle of the dough 
and uh, start moving them in circles. For each revolution, make the circle a little bit bigger and get a little bit more flour into the fluids. Keep going until it gets so thick that you can't really move your hand anymore. Then you start by grabbing the back of the dough and folding it in over itself. Then you turn the bowl a little bit and then you fold again. Keep going until the flour is completely hydrated. Then leave the dough to rest for 30 minutes under a damp dish towel. Now it's time for the bulk fermentation. We're going to start by performing four sets of stretch and fold spaced out by 30 minutes. The first set of stretch and folds. The second set of stretch and folds. The third set of stretch and folds. and the fourth set of stretch and folds. After the fourth set of stretch and folds is done, we should perform a window pane test to check the gluten development. If it doesn't pass the test, we should uh, add one more set of stretch and folds and rest for 30 minutes, then test again. Once the window pane passes, take out the butter and cube it and uh, let the dough rest for 30 minutes. Now it's time to add the butter. Put a small handful of cubes in on the dough and start uh, by pushing and massaging it into the dough. Keep going until you can't feel any lumps anymore. Then add another handful. Repeat until you've added all the butter. Then add the dough to a container where you can monitor the growth and you should let it ferment until it has expanded by 30 to 50% in volume. Once it's expanded, uh, you should put it in the refrigerator for a minimum of two hours to cool off the dough, but you can keep it in there for up to 48 hours. All right, then it's time to shape the dough and for the final proof. Flour your workspace liberally. And then dump the dough out and sort of tease it into a rectangle.
then uh, roll it out so it's about the width of your pan, minus about one and a half centimeters, about half an inch. Roll it out pretty thinly so that uh, when it's rolled up, you get a pretty tight swirl. Then it's time to apply the blueberry jam to the dough. At the end where you're going to start rolling, you can go all the way to the edge. And the other end, you should leave room about three centimeters, about one inch without any jam. On the sides, you should also leave a little room about one and a half centimeters, about half an inch without any jam. Then uh, roll up the dough pretty tightly. After you have a roll of dough, you should fold the sides underneath the bottom uh, to seal the jam inside while it's baking. Grease your tin liberally with butter or baking spray and place the dough inside the tin. And cover the tin with a damp dish towel and let it proof until it's doubled in size. Now it's time to bake the bread. Preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius, that's about 390 degrees Fahrenheit, or gas mark 6. Beat one egg with one tablespoon of milk. Brush the bread lightly with the egg wash. Bake for about 60 minutes or until the inner temperature is about 98 degrees Celsius. That's about 208 degrees Fahrenheit. If the bread starts to get too brown during baking, you can cover it with a piece of aluminum foil. When the bread is done, take it out of the oven and uh, let it cool for 10 minutes in the pan. And then take it out of the pan and let it cool completely. That's it. That's how you make a blueberry swirl sourdough brioche bread. Now all there's left is, look at this loaf in all its splendor. Mm -hmm.